You're focusing too much on opponent. It's plain, simple, but brutal. But it's going to help you guys improve the most you have ever improved from any tutorial. Griezmann, three men around him to somehow find some space for another fantastic opening. The drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. It almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! The display is absolutely ridiculous. The last kick on the goal line. On the goal line. The now, a huge mistake I see when I'm coaching a client one-on-one -on -one in my academy. Now, if you do want to be coached for EAFC 24, I'm preparing people right now. Check it out. The link is down below. Moving on, though. What I notice is they are focusing too much on the opponent. And I can speak from experience. When I was improving to become a pro player back in the FIFA 16 and 17 and 18 days, the biggest mistake I was making was focusing too much on the opponent's defense or too much on the opponent's attack when I was either defending or attacking. You see, the trouble is, if you focus too much on how they're defending when you're attempting to attack, you will focus too much on what he's doing rather than what you're doing. And in turn, you won't stick to your game plan. You won't stick to the basics and in general, you will get tunnel visioned because you're only really focusing on what he's doing. Okay, you need to essentially treat this as if it's your life and it is an analogy But if you truly want to prevail in life and improve in life It is so important that you don't focus on other people's success you focus on your own success You compare yourself to who you were yesterday not to who someone else is today. It's so important It's similar to how you're attacking please focus on your attack what you're doing and not so much on the defender it goes in line with dribbling as well if you focus too much on the defender your hand-eye coordination will actually swerve you towards the defender that's how your hand-eye coordination works that's why when you're driving okay you should really focus on your side of the road if you focus on the opposite side of the road your hand-eye coordination swerves you to that road it's very similar to dribbling and FIFA and in turn if I use it as an analogy it's very similar to what I'm trying to say in this video and the message that this video withholds you guys need to focus on your attack more than the opponent's defense and how he's defending I would say it's a 20 to 80 percent ratio 80 percent of what you're doing 20 percent of how he's defending because you can't cut that out completely okay but usually it's the opposite way around you're focusing 80% on what he's doing and 20% on what you're doing that's the biggest mistake I see okay and I can tell when people are doing it when I'm coaching them they'll say but my opponent was doing this he's doing that how do I do that well no focus on what I'm teaching you focus on what you need to develop in your game what you need to do to get the ball into the bucket of the net not what the opponent's doing to stop you from scoring it's so important lads you have no idea how important it is because I learned from this mistake myself I am coaching one-on-one -on -one. I'm preparing people for EAFC 24 if you want to be a part of that the link is down below but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video can we smash 100 likes for EAFC 24 are you pumped or are you not let me know in the comment section down below but I'm out sayonara au revoir adios salam ciao Goodbye. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And lastly, if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement, then head over to atpscience.com, which is the first link in the description, and use the code DILLANETSATP at checkout to get yourself a discount. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it helps me out a ton, guys, so thank you.